This is Read, a document reader for the iPhone from Minion Software. The first screen is split into two parts. The top shows libraries where you can download documents. The bottom shows documents you've already downloaded. The free ebooks opens a list of documents we've posted for users to download. We plan to expand the number of titles available, but in the meantime, these serve as documents you can use to test the features. Going back to the main screen, I'll click on Google Documents. This allows me to log in to my own Google Documents account. You can store a lot of different kinds of documents on Google Documents, and anything that's text can be read by read. In my Google Documents account, I've stored a couple of contracts I need to read for work, the text of a New York Times article, and the copy of the Raven that I downloaded from Project Gutenberg. I'll load that into read. The main reading screen is highlighting mode, which advances through the text word by word. The speedometer control at the bottom allows me to change the speed to something comfortable for me. I have a font control where I can adjust the font, bigger or smaller, and a contrast control where I can adjust the foreground and background contrast to make the highlight more or less prevalent. On the right side, I have a scroll control that allows me to advance through the document like a scroll bar. Or I can just swipe on the screen and tap to relocate the highlight. The settings button lets me change the font or reverse the polarity so I can have white text on a dark background. I can also change to word flash mode. This uses a technique called Rapid Serial Visual Presentation, or RSVP, to show the words one at a time. So I can really jack up the font. And sit back and absorb the text. This may take a little, get, little getting used to for some people, but once you're used to it, you can really crank up your reading speed. Going back to the main screen, I now have the Raven stored on my iPhone so I can read it offline and it'll pick up right where I left off. And when I'm done with it, I can swipe to delete it and clear it out. We've got a lot of additional features we're adding to improve usability and provide a wider range of content. Give Read a try and let us know what we can do to make your reading on the iPhone easier.